In the first case of its kind in Singapore, a man has been convicted for using a motorcycle as a private hire vehicle, the Land Transport Authority LTA, said on Friday, January 5. During an enforcement operation in May last year, targeting illegal car and motorcycle pooling services, LTA booked two drivers and a motorcyclist and impounded their vehicles. The motorcyclist was charged and convicted for using a prohibited vehicle as a public service vehicle and for using the vehicle without the requisite insurance coverage, said the authority said in a Facebook post. This is the first time that a motorcyclist has been charged and convicted for conveying passengers for hire and reward. Court documents showed that an LTA enforcement officer conducted a check on the motorcyclist. 33-year-old Muhammad Hasbala Rosli, along the vicinity of Block 505D Issuance Street 51 on May 3, 2023, at about 8.45 a.m. Investigations revealed Hasbala had been hired by his passenger to ferry him from Issuance Street 51 to ITE College West in Choa Chukong for a fare of 18 Singapore dollars 14 US dollars. Despite not knowing the passenger personally, Despite knowing there is an offence to ferry passengers on a motorcycle for a fare, it was found that Hasbala agreed to ferry the passenger as he wanted to earn additional income. Hasbala also admitted that at about 6.30am on the same day, he had ferried a passenger from Tampines to ITE College West for a fare of 18 Singapore dollars. His motorcycle was not registered as a public service vehicle as motorcycles are forbidden from being used as private hire vehicles. He also did not have a valid insurance policy, with insurance company Attica confirming its policy did not cover the motorbike when used for hire and reward services. For using a proscribed vehicle as a public service vehicle and using a vehicle without insurance coverage, Hasbala was fined 1,800 Singapore dollars and received a 12-month driving ban. One of the two drivers booked in the same enforcement operation was charged and convicted for not possessing a valid vocational license. In addition to using his vehicle without a valid public service vehicle license and not having the requisite insurance coverage, Muhammad Nasrul Haq Shamsun Aizam, 21, was ferrying a passenger from Block 194 Riverville Drive to Thompson Plaza for 24 Singapore dollars when he was stopped by an LTA enforcement officer on May 3, 2023, at about 11.55 a.m. Investigations found that Nasrul Haq did not have a vocational license allowing him to drive a taxi or private hire car or bus. Based on LTA records, his vehicle was registered as a passenger motor car and did not possess a valid public service vehicle license. Nasrul Haq also did not have a valid insurance policy, with insurance company NTUC Income confirming its policy did not cover the car when used for hire and reward services. For using an unlicensed public service vehicle Driving a public service vehicle without a valid vocational license and using a vehicle without insurance coverage, Nasrul Haq was fined 1,800 Singapore dollars and received a 12-month driving ban. The case for the last driver, booked in the May 2023 operation, is before the courts. We take a serious view of such unlawful practices and will continue to take enforcement action against those providing illegal car and motorcycle pooling services, said LTA. The authority added that commuters are strongly encouraged to book point-to-point -point transport services, including commercial carpooling services, via licensed business platforms for their own safety.